here this year. You know, gave one to my dad, and I've got a couple here. They're going to join me on the adventure of butchering some deer for the first time on my own. So, thanks for joining me. Because of how we had to lay him up, you know, I don't have a whole lot of height in here. So we flipped him around, and now I'm finishing the rest of the skin job. You really, 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 really want to get rid of all the meat below that if you're going to do it. Because as you can see, it's just showering hair all over everything once you flip it over. All we're going to do then is get the rest of this fur and skin off, and then most of this is just stew and burger meat. And then there's a nice roast up in the neck. I'll tell you what we're going to do with the head, because clearly I'm not mounting it traditionally uh, since I didn't cape it or anything. See how that just like unzipped though? Mm -hmm. That's why you want a nice sharp knife, this is where it's going to get bad. You really don't want to cut crossways through the hair, if at all possible. You want to come up underneath and out because going down through the hair really dulls your knife quick and gets a bunch of hair all over your blade. Whenever possible, you want to, you know, just come up under here, split it, and come out. A lot of guys will try and get all the skin and hair and everything off before they start removing any of the meat, and that's definitely a better way to go. I can totally admit that if I had that capability right now, that would be the way we'd be doing it, but we don't. We're sharing garage space with Dick who's fixing his truck so we can take it out more adventures. That's why we have rinse buckets and stuff. I'm really trying to do this without dropping the deer. Yeah, if gutting deer didn't get us kicked off YouTube, I can't imagine that this will. If you wanted to mount this deer, this would be a good place to stop. We didn't get up into the chest of this, you know. Uh, your mount, your, your chest mount stops about there. But, you know, that's not what we're doing, so I don't care. So I exposed the rest of my burger and stew meat on the leg portions. You know, you, you might get some bigger portions up in the shoulders to cut down, but I really it's just burgers and stew. And then you've got this nice roast in the neck, because deer have big, thick necks. So now I'm just going to, you know, sever the neck bones. <laughs> My rack falls gently into a pile of deer fur, and then I'll wear that to work on Monday. You know, you just put the head on top of you and the cape behind you to let everybody know, because then they know. And once they know, they know, right? But no, seriously, I'm going to cut the cape off the rest of the way, uh, and then we're going to work on doing a European mount on this old boy. He has no teeth. He has like a couple teeth, but he must be real old. Like his molars, he's got like two molars. So he's gotta be real old. Cool. It's real dark in here. I'm, well, that's why we have the light. Well, that's the problem with the light. Is that light, when it's pointing right at the camera, makes the camera make everything else dark. Mm-hmm beautiful rack I'm gonna put it in a bag put it in a freezer and then uh, we're gonna European mounter and whatever deer don't care about gender yeah see the problem of flipping your deer over is you get a bunch of hair but it's fine we can rinse that off that's why we've got the, the basin so you come down right here where it starts to come out of the spine and you follow the spine up you're just cutting around it it's not a pretty, not a pretty job, but the further you get into this, the more, the less you worry about pretty, and the more you worry about, you know, done. Oh, I split the center of a vertebrae. There we go. There we go. That. I mean, that in itself is like 10 pounds of meat. 
I'm gonna leave the neck bone in it because I'll have a bone, nice bone in roast then. And then this will be, you know, I'm gonna clean all the scraps off for burger. Like this will be fine burger. But then I'm gonna have this nice bone in neck roast for when I've got, you know, six or more people eating and I wanna have a bunch of leftovers for the week. Just trimming out some things that could be some things. I actually trim that up into some cuts because it looks pretty great as far as you know big stuff coming off this side of the deer so essentially you just cut into the bone and you just run your way down on any leg like you're just looking for meat man and then when you get to another bone you stop and you turn and cut your way out you can get these neat little cuts of meat like this one's not going to slice up into anything good but that one right there you know, I can clean this up, you know, get this stuff off of here, and you know, I can cut some nice little chops or whatever those end up being called out of it. So that's, that's all the rest of the deer is, you know, it's a couple, a couple cuts, uh, mostly it's going to be stew meat and burger. I got, I don't know, probably 70 pounds of meat out of this deer pretty happy with that I always feel like I'm getting rid of a lot when I'm throwing out fat and stuff but that's just the way it is man you feel like you're dumping a lot to save the rest we just bag this up put it in, in, in a in a yard waste garbage or in a in a what are they in the commercial garbage bags the industrial waste garbage bags just put it out with your trash man uh, this is the first part of what we're gonna do with this I'm gonna show you what to do with this meat you know in a cooking series a little bit uh, if you enjoyed this video, you know, give it the thumbs up, click subscribe down at the bottom. This has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.